Vitiligo, a rare skin disorder characterized by the destruction of melanocytes, resulting in the loss of skin color and the appearance of whitish patches, affects around 1% of the global population. Regardless of gender or ethnicity, it predominantly impacts in features between the ages of 20 and 30. Vivian Najika, an esteemed assistant lecturer at Kabbalah University and the revered chairperson of the Vitlago Association of Uganda, first experienced the onset of Vitlago during her final year of starting in 2004. Over a span of approximately four months, the patches on her face multiplied, covering nearly half of her wounds and blemished complexion. Uh, from nowhere, I just started seeing some small patches. They started with my mouth and they, gradually they increased and then they went to the face on my left hand side of the face. The arrival of Vitiligo plunged Najika into a period of profound depression as she grappled with the enigmatic changes occurring within her body. Besieged by myths and misconceptions from those around her, with some attributing her condition to witchcraft, Najika chose self-isolation as a defense against public ridicule. First place I didn't know that was called Vitiligo. Because uh, in Buganda they term, as, they term it as the uh, Abalongo Bakocha. Eh? So whenever I would move in the public, they would say, hey, Abalongo Bakocha. And they then associate it to a lot of beliefs and myths. So it really dis dis distressed me so much. I went through a lot of depression, uh, self isolation. Uh, Najika's unyielding faith and acceptance of Jesus Christ as her guiding light gave her the strength to embrace this condition and live life with an unwavering positive outlook. Because before salvation, I wanted to commit suicide. The stress was too much that I would move in Kampala, in the city, and these bayas eh, could always eh, mock me, say, hey, you, you are bewitched. You, you hijack someone who's a uh, husband, and now they burnt you with acid, a number of uh, funny, funny, funny mocking and bullying words. After one to two years, Najika embarked on an arduous journey of self-education and research, determined to understand and cope with Vitlago. Her commitment to acquiring knowledge empowered her to develop effective strategies for managing the challenges posed by this skin disorder. So it was not until then I, I searched a lot on the internet. I happened to have go, uh, gone to Nigeria to represent our country on the same. We shared a lot with other countries eh? and we came to learn a lot of things. Then I came with some literature, books, leaflets, which I started spreading some of the dermatologists, uh, doctors I could come across and they also came to greet to know more information about it. In 2019, Najika joined forces with other individuals affected by Vitlago to establish the Vitlago Association of Uganda, a dynamic organization dedicated to advocating for the rights and well-being of people living with Vitlago. With a membership exceeding 200 individuals, the association strives to raise awareness, empower those affected, and foster societal acceptance. Because after realizing that there are many people out there who are living with a condition, they are not advocated, they are going through a lot of stress and stigma, isolation, and they really need someone, some, some kind of association where they can go and also share their what? their differences, see, uh, interact with similar others. So that's how the Tiger Association of Uganda came into existence. Despite progress in generating awareness, Najika passionately highlights the enduring prevalence of social stigma faced by Vitlago victims. But people living in Tiger, most of them you find that they are being rejected by the, the community around them because of their condition. And uh, most times this see is because, because the public are not very well what, informed about what Vitiligo is. Uh, some people think that Vitiligo is contagious, first of all. 
that it can in any infectious disease that can get you when you sit near a person, when you touch someone, like the recent COVID year scenario. So, but yet it's not the truth. Vitago is not contagious. She fervently appeals to the government to provide support by recognizing the distinctive needs of individuals living with Vitlago and ensuring their access to adequate care. Minister of Health and any other uh, stakeholders who may really feel sympathetic to us because Vitlago does not uh, have boundaries to anybody to whom it will, is going to affect. It can affect anybody with respect of their age, uh, social income, uh, gender, uh, color, because it's also so common in the white sea. It is it has no boundaries. It can attack anybody at any age. Najikal, happily married to Onembe Hakanira, underscores the pivotal role of her husband's unwavering support played in their union. She calls upon society to view Vitalago victims as ordinary human beings deserving of love, empathy and equal opportunities. They should love us. They should not stigmatize us. This, is, this skin disorder is just on the top. It has nothing to do with someone who's mental thinking or cognitive thinking. We are very active in everything, though it may have some, some kind of bit of a disability, like where if you expose yourself on the sun, too much technology, what, and overworking and stress. But I respect of that. We are, can compete favorably in politics, in all leadership, in administration, in, it, in any, any, any life food what activities. Onem Behakanira, Najika's spouse, stood steadfast in his commitment to embrace her condition, despite initial reservations from some acquaintances. Recognizing Najika's exceptional qualities, he urges the public to reject stigmatization and embrace inclusivity. When I approached her, I asked, that was the first question, I asked what happened to you? And she told me how the situation started years back when she was at the university. And then that one could not scare me. Instead, I, I felt that I should give her a company. I should uh, love her. I should stand with her in all conditions. Because in this world, we, we need people to love us. As the world observes World Vitalago Day in 2023, the theme Vitalago, looking into the future, sets the stage for continued progress.